I don't believe you because I know I'm right. <laughs> I'm a woman. You don't think I remember the day of our first date? Well, if you remember that it was a year ago today, no, then yeah. No, I is tomorrow, OK? I have it circled in my calendar. I have it in my butt. Oh my god, that is so weird. Mia, we're going to be late. No, but we were just talking about our first real date, and here these people are. Remember? We I remember. A year ago to today. Dinner. No, it wasn't a year ago today. <gasps> oh my god, you actually danced with me? Yes. So romantic. They even played this song. <laughs> Would you just admit I'm right? <laughs> no. OK, will you marry me? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Lord Voldemort at 2 o'clock. Hi, Clive. Hi, Clive. Serendipity. I've just come from a meeting with the board. About the two of you. We're consolidating on the print side. Raising one of you up to US print publisher. Wow. But I can't make a decision based on past performance. You are, both of you, for all intents and purposes, perfect equals. So we're going to play a little game here called Survivor West 23rd Street. OK. Which means? Whichever one of you closes the biggest block of advertising this quarter stays. The other one's off the island. This quarter closes Friday. And winner takes all. Beautiful ring. You engaged. Yes. Just now. Oh, congratulations. One of you is going to be married to the publisher of the Barnstead Magazine Group. You up for this? Do we have a choice? Well, I was thinking maybe one of us could step aside. Oh, what a gentleman. I meant the other one of us. You know, one of the other things I love about you? Your sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for this opportunity. And we hope that a visit to our site might be the next logical step. Gentlemen, I would like to remind you that I am the COO of this company and the ranking executive in this meeting. If there's a next step, I would appreciate it if you would address your proposals to me as well as to my colleagues. Cream or sugar? I'm so not wanting to have this conversation right now. I don't want to have the conversation. All right, well. OK, perfect example. You and that thing, you just can't wait to pick it up, can you? What is this, Get Caitlin Day? Honestly, if it had a vibrator attachment, you wouldn't need me, which is kind of the issue. Do you want the truth? Wait a minute, are you dumping me during breakfast? Well, I'm trying to tell you what I need, what I'm not getting from this relationship. OK, then. You know what you can get? The check for once. Don't panic, Carl. This is how I play the game with them. Yeah, well, it's my job to get them up to 50 bucks. And I will. Everybody sit tight, and I'll update you later. Mommy, why are you in the closet? Uh, sometimes moms have to talk on the phone in the closet. Uh, you'll understand when you're old. My dance recitals Thursday. You promise you'll make this one promise? Promise. I can't find my shoes. Honey, could you ask the nanny? Mom, Becky's gone. What? I left you a note. What time did you get in? Oh, we circled Kennedy forever. What's going on? Where's Becky? The green walls across the street poached her. They offered her six figures and two months' pay vacation. Well, didn't we make a counter offer? Plus a car and a clothing allowance. So where's the fire? Oh, I knew it. Oh, what was this? 
she proposed to me this morning on the way to work. Great. So I'm officially the old maid. Oh, will you cut that out? <laughs> okay. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. There is a however. Outrageous prenup demand. Yes. Would you stop? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having trust issues with men right now. Get this. They're facing us off against each other for publisher. Sudden death. One moves up and the other moves out. The gun's gone off and the finish line is this Friday. <sighs> so I go for it, right? What's the prize, the job or the man? Well, both. Well, if she has to choose. Shh, it's 2007. She doesn't have to choose. She I brings I know it. what year it is. I also know it would be a hell of a way to start off an engagement. He asked her to marry him. He's got to know what he's getting into. Well, he knows because we talked about it afterwards, and he asked Hello, me Hello, ladies. Silla. Hi, Silla. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I have a tiny little favor to ask. Caitlin, you're in the Arbor Gaster, aren't you? Yeah, I am. I have an accepted bid for the penthouse. Could you possibly put in a word with the board for me? Well, I'm, I'm on the board, so I'll see if I can move them along at least. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Great to see all of you. Hi. Bye. Bye. Now there's a woman who knows how to divorce. Yeah, first there was an actor, and then <laughs> Ron Buckler. Well, I hear she really backed up the truck. <laughs> now, before you and Jack put the gloves on, we need a celebration. I'm thinking a little engagement party. Nothing stressful, just nearest and dearest. An engagement Yay. party! <laughs> <laughs> now let me see this rock. Zoe, you need to make some room in your schedule. We're gonna meet a potential nanny day after tomorrow. Checking, checking. It's really crunched, because I've got another interview for that restoration in Charleston. Thanks. You do? Yeah. Um, I'll have her meet me with the kids after school. There. I can do four. Ah. Make it 410. Can we just say four? Fine, I just might be 10 minutes late. Kidding. Oh. Nice get on that fashion auditorium. So, hey, thanks. How are you? Hey. <laughs> Spit it out. We only threw it to get this morning. Juliet, Zoe, will you please join me? Where's Mia? Where's Mia? Hey. Okay. When we were in business school together, we'd talk about what kind of guy we thought we'd end up with. And Mia would always describe her perfect man. He had to be smart, funny, uh, generous, driven. Basically Mia. With a penis. <laughs> and then in walk Jack. And after 15 fantastic years with Davis, here's what I know. No matter where life takes you, if you're together, you're home. Oh. Oh, one last little thing. Be good to her. Because if you break her heart, we'll break every last bone in your body. <laughs> Cheers. Drink up. <laughs> when they're in agreement, don't waste your breath trying to argue. Okay. And never use the R word. It's like it's a C word. The R word? Relax. Relax. I have a teleconference with Tokyo. I love you. Oh. My nanny quit. Oh, no. A whole thing. I have to have sex with Davis. Oh. He's going on a business trip tomorrow. It's superstitious good luck thing with us. Oh, kind of like a little bone voyage. Oh, exactly. I'm sorry, I had to do it. <laughs> and ladies, I know you all bought tables, but I'd appreciate it if you came to the benefit the Thursday. Sasha. It has a recital, but I'm going to peek in. I'm there. <sighs> Try. So what if I get this promotion? Have you really thought about it? Yeah, I'll just stay home and catch up on the view. Okay, I'm serious. I'll be fine. Come on. Relax. Hey, watch it. <laughs> what, did I say something funny? What do you think of this for the benefit Thursday? Perfect. <laughs> Davis, close your eyes and describe the dress. Black beaded around the uh, cleavage, or whatever you call it, probably cost more than my new car. Can I open them now? Yes. Gross! Oh! Mom! If you're gonna rekindle the flames or whatever, you could at least lock the door. I'm off. Ew. I'm gonna have a nightmare. Caitlin, your 9 o'clock appointment. Wakey, wakey, oh. eggs and bakey. You have an interview scheduled for three minutes ago. Oh. The new rep from the ad agency. Damn. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Alicia Lawson, Caitlin Dowd. 
Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for coming oh, in. Oh, no, thank you. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Ow! Oh, oh, God. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> That's usually my move. <laughs> Please sit. Now look, let's just see their top four candidates. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty the nanny gods that we find someone today. Okay, love you. Bye. Where's Catherine? Has anybody seen Catherine? I, I believe she's in your office. Tell you what, why don't I rework the flowcharts and we can look at the fresh profiles over drinks later? Spotted pig, 630? Perfect. Bye now. Dan Armbrister had some questions about the Waterfield buyout. Oh, he had questions for you. Well, no, just questions, but you were busy with your nanny search, and so... Catherine, I... my nanny quit, so now I have her job and my job, and I really need you to do your job. Could you get me the Waterfield's research and copy the team? Sure. Just, uh, as soon as I've finished it. You haven't finished? I'm on the home stretch and kicking up dust. Peter Johnson on line two. Peter, listen, I wanted to get you ahead of a situation here. My colleague Mia Mason's magazines have a number of those go green issues coming up, and I hear your SUVs are in for some pretty harsh coverage. I'll catch you up tomorrow. I booked us some track time up at Lime Rock. <laughs> okay, bye now. What green issues? Why, it's not impossible that one of your brands would do a green issue, and you can't do a green issue without ragging on some SUVs, right? I got you an iced coffee. Tracy, will you call Peter Johnson's office and find out what he'd likes to do other than eat? We need to show him a rock star night in the town. And will you roll me to Juliet? I'll get you a table to per se and seats at the Soho House poker game. <laughs> It'll be putty in your hands. That's what I'm here for. Go get him, tiger. Davis, it's me. The company jet's dead heading down to Miami, and seeing as we never got to it last night, I thought maybe I'd do something totally uncharacteristic and have them drop me in Hilton Head and meet you for dinner and some hotel sex. And I'd fly back up with you tomorrow. This offer good until 6 o'clock. Call me. Big kiss. This is supposed to be our time. I had breakfast before I went to bed. <laughs> well, I hope you remember this time. The look on that guy's face when I laid down the straight flush, never gonna forget that. <laughs> Listen, one minute of business. Our research shows that women still find shopping for a new car intimidating, yet they drive the market for a huge segment of your product line. You're not gonna let me sleep until I give you the buy, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Be disturbed. No, just take a second. Okay, time out. You knew I had Johnson for track time what? this morning, and now he canceled. Well, I didn't tell him to cancel. No, you just kept him out all night. Well, it took me all night to move him off the bull. You, you torpedoed to a Kali. At least don't up to it. You know, I didn't do anything you don't do. You know, that's what I hate about working with women. What? You make like you're playing by the rules, but when push comes to shove, I'll come the little me, looks and the sexy little signals and demeaning really everybody. Do you think there's anything going on other than trying to make a deal? Come on. No, of course no. not. But and I... as for the rules, I wasn't conscious in the day you boys made them up, so I'm kind of at a disadvantage here, okay? It's a good thing I'm marrying you. Oh, really? Why is that? Because I'd hate not having you on my team. Well, I feel the same way about you. So what do you want to do about it? I don't know. I'm kind of torn between ravaging you and locking you in here till Friday. Well, why don't we compromise? I'll lock the door. And you can ravage me. Forgive me, 
Father, for I have sinned. It's been God only knows when since my last confession, and here are my sins. Um, I think I might be gay. I don't know if I'm gay. Oh, God. I think the real danger you're in here is of ending up like Aunt Ruth, Ugh. because you weren't brave enough to put yourself out there, or sure enough of God's love to realize that you deserve to be loved, too, for who you are. The Pope would have your collar here heard you talking like that. I'm talking as your brother. Oh. And I want what's best for you. You've been dating for 20 years. 15. Whatever. And at some point, I think it's OK if you admit that it's not about finding the right guy anymore. It's about the right person. Well, I don't even know if she's gay or straight. Or... I don't know if I'm gay. Just, I don't know if she even gave me a second thought. Just there was this vibe. Just going for drinks. Drinks is safe, you think? I think you can do better than me for the dating do's and don'ts. That's true. And the winner is both of you! Now, why don't you guys go enjoy while Mommy and Daddy and I talk? Let me see yours. Let me see what you got. Show well, they certainly seem to like you. <laughs> so, um, how can we make this work? Well, I get 900 a week. Wednesdays, half days, Sundays off, uh, a cell phone with unlimited texting, a metro card, my own shelf in the fridge, and a TV with premium channels in my room. Oh. I'm sorry, I just oh. got it. Yes, Catherine. I really need a mental health day. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to say no. <sighs> Why not? That research that I needed yesterday, the thing is, I needed even more today, seeing as how a day has passed. <sighs> I'm sorry. So when can you start? Oh, uh, just excuse us one second. She's a little demanding. She She's smart. perfect. Trust me. Um, Thursday is my daughter's dance recital, and we underline bold. Cannot miss it. Well, how about tonight then? I could go grab a suitcase. Done. Late running. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, and hey, welcome to our home. Bye. Bye. Wait, wait a second, I'm just, I think I see someone I know. Oh my God, Davis and Silla Gray. They're just kissing on the street, and then Scylla goes off in the cab, and Davis goes back inside. She said she was living at the hotel. Yeah, while well, she waits to close on her apartment. Are you positive it was Davis? Positive. If it was you, would you want to know? If it was Eric, and you guys knew, and you didn't tell me, and then I found out, I'd kill you. Or we could just spare Juliet and pay Davis a little visit and punch his balls off. I don't think that's us. Tempting, though. I'm sure would send a message. Does the spinster get a vote? Stop that, and of course you do. This isn't about us. This is about our friend who we've known for 15 years now, who hates surprises, by the way. So you two be Juliet for a moment. So, Juliet, if Davis was dipping his wick in Scylla Gray, would you want to know? Dipping his wick? Damn right I would. Nice. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Yeah. What are your tomorrows like? I am back to back till five, including lunch. I'm on a plane to Atlanta at three, not back until Thursday at four, and I've got Sasha's recital at seven that night. Maybe you too? No, it should yeah. definitely be all three of us. Well, what about before the benefit at her apartment? What if Davis is there? Well, I'll call first. If he's there, we'll take her downstairs for coffee, say five? I can do that. I'll make it work. Agreed. Is it hard for you to stay faithful to me? Where'd that come from? Davis is having an affair with Scylla Gray. Does Juliet know? Mia and Caitlin and I were telling her tomorrow. Wow. Will you bring gnats and a tranquilizer gun? <laughs> it's not funny. You didn't answer my question. I'm at the old Paul Newman school. Why go out for a hamburger when you can have a steak at home? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What the? Uh, no. Don't move muscle. Brooke? Brooke, 
Did you turn that off? Honey, it's going right off. Now back to sleep, okay? Uh oh, club night alarm. Oh. Club night alarm. Yeah, you know, like for when you need to crash, but you're going out clubbing, so you need like that extra strength alarm. I must have left it on. That is not an everyday bottle around here. Oh. Well, you should just label the okay to drink bottles then. Anyway, night. Oh, uh, Brooke, no walking around the house without a robe. Uh, new house rule, okay? Like I got one at work and one at home. What do you mean? Brooke, Catherine, uh, what is it with these girls? It's. It's like Generation Y gave way to Generation ID. ID? I deserve. I mean, when I was their age, we were so grateful to have a job, and we were so aware of how expendable we were. Well, yeah, but, but they're not. And you can't blame them. Because we both spread ourselves so thin that we really need them to keep the train on track. And they can't help but know it. We're being held hostage by our help. Uh, look, I know it's a long shot, but if I get this job, I'll be traveling all the time. We'll need all the Catherines and Brooks we can find. I know. You're rooting for me, though. Of course I am. Let's just cross that bridge when we come to it. Yeah. Just so we both know it's there. Yes. <laughs> and it will be there in the morning. What I really want to know is, how do you like your steak done, mister? <laughs> I think Lily hired me because where I grew up in Brooklyn, she stood for class and Park Avenue glamour. Hey, Queen's girl here. Nice. I know what you're saying. You do know her real name, right? No. Yetta Goldman from the Bronx. Well. As her head of marketing, may I say that you're doing a fantastic job at sustaining the fantasy. Thank you. I'm thinking of skewing the line younger. <laughs> well, you're just the person to kickstart that. Mm -mm. You've got a, a really special style. Right. <laughs> no, really. It's easy and unaffected. I know. You just know there's a lot going on there. Still waters. <laughs> Hi. Two guys in suits at the other end. Want to buy you next round? Thank you. Not bad. You know, in a hot, well-dressed, probably really smart and incredibly successful kind of way. Yeah, if you're into that sort of thing. Well, I've got a late supper, so. <clears throat> you got your pick. I'll walk out with you. Really? Yeah. Okay. Can I drop you? Um, I'm actually meeting my brother in Brooklyn for dinner, so I'll just take a taxi. Okay. This was fun. Yeah. Good night. Uh, I should tell you, I had a terrible time with men and, and no real experience with women, so I'm kind of flying without the instruments here, and I'm... And I should tell you that you're a wonderful kisser. <laughs> I'm late. I'll see you Monday. Mm-hmm. comes Friday. We got this. Got the woman I love, and that's 
The only thing I care about winning. Okay, what have you got? Everett Computer, new line rollout, six page spreads, three month total saturation ramping up to the launch. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you think. I've got Gary Pell, the CEO, for drinks tomorrow. You might want to think about a plan B because mm -hmm. I've stepped up security since that Johnson thing. <gasps> yeah, right. Sure. <laughs> Are you going to get that? Terry, just a sec. Yeah. Okay, what do you got? Okay. Okay, I can do that. Hi, it's Zoe. You know what to do. Zoe, it's Mia. Can you reach out to your networks and get me Gary Pell's itinerary for tomorrow? Thanks, sweetie. What a day for it, huh? And the capper? Phil Mickelson's gonna be doing something with ESPN out there. We got him for drinks after. Nice doing business with you, Jack. Gentlemen, Gary Pell and Mia Mason. Mind if we make it a threesome? Mia, what are you doing? Well, Gary and I had a drinks meeting later, but when I found out you guys were playing Sabonic, I didn't want to have to have him rush back in. Two birds, one stone. Oh, you've got to try this. I get an extra 20 yards off the tee. Sweet. Hey, thanks. <laughs> Gosh, what a day for it, huh? You know, I was just saying that. Were you? Wouldn't I just say that? Listen, I want to be the matchmaker between your rollout and the five million women who rely on my brands for guidance. Great. We have got until five o'clock to top their bid, and we need to flatten them with our counter. I think that we should offer 55 a share. Go big or go home. Guys, I have to take this. I mean, can you just excuse me just one? Hey, is everything OK? How do you turn off the smoke alarm? The kids are going nuts. Is there a fire? No, I was just smoking a cigarette. I mean, what the hell kind of smoke alarm goes off from a cigarette anyway? You're smoking in my house around my kids? Look, the alarm is driving the kids nuts, and now they are driving me nuts. Luke, quit it! Brooke, when I get home, we are going to have a serious talk. Let me spare you the effort. I know where this is going. I'll drop the kids and my key at your office. Sasha's recital is tonight, and I've got to get up to Juliet's. I'll be there in half an hour. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm not at my office. Brooke? Everybody, I am so sorry for the delay and for having to continue by teleconference. Now one more moment, please. Mommy. Mommy is having a very busy day and trying not to lose it. And you guys could really help by sitting down quietly with your crayons and paper and drawing a really nice picture of Mommy's head exploding. And the winner gets an ice cream. OK? I'm going to win. No, I'm getting Just get off. I'm going to win. I'm back. Joseph, we're all wearing black. It's New York. OK, who died? What? Nobody. I love <laughs> that dress. It's so nice. Coffee, tea, or should I open a bottle of wine? Wine sounds good. Wine it is, just as soon as you tell me what the hell is going on. Uh, oh, there's really no easy way to say this. I, uh, I saw Davis coming out of the Gansevoort with, uh, Scylla Gray, and he was, uh, kissing her. And it wasn't just a, hey, really nice to see you kind of a kiss. It was very much, uh, it was a kiss. And when was this? Tuesday afternoon. And you're positive it was Davis? Yes. Well, thank you for that. I know it couldn't have been easy. I'll go get us that wine. That went well. Mia, would you grab some glasses? 
Juliet? Say something. What's there to say? My husband steps out on me. You knew? About Silla Gray? No. That's kind of a nasty wrinkle. It's always been an out of town sort of thing. Would you mind? How can you stay with him? Do not judge me. When you've been with someone, anyone, a man, a woman, a pet for 15 years, then we will talk. You do not get to judge me. I'm not excusing him, but look at what, what a man gives up to be with one of us. We make more money, we rise higher, we take up more space. We are as far from the idea of a wife he grew up with as it's possible to be and still wear his ring and go by his last name. Don't get me wrong, I hate it. But I hate the alternative more. I don't wanna be a single mother. A blind date, third wheel. I love having someone to come home to, to go to parties and do the postmortems with, to plan holidays for. So, there it is. The secret to my happy marriage. But kids, don't try this at home. I love you. I know you do. I'm sorry, Fave, you didn't. Now, about that dress. <laughs> you don't like it. I do. But given the circumstances, maybe something a little more brave. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Great to see you. Davis. Hello. Hi, Hi Em. How long is this thing? Not long. Oh. Hey, Em, you look nice. Listen, why don't you pretend your mom is one of your best friends just for tonight? A friend who's been a little down and could use a little cheering up. Think you could do that? I guess. Please take your seat. Great. Come on. Hi. So good to see you. The woman we honor tonight can truly be called a force of nature. She's as warm as a June afternoon, as inspiring as a mountain view, and as anyone who has tried to say no to her can attest, she can be as fierce and unrelenting as a hurricane. Listen to these numbers. I know Six about Scylla Gray. I am so sorry. Someone we know, where we live. It's over as of right now. It sure as hell better be. <clears throat> what can I do? Just tell me what to do. You know what you can do, Davis? Take a good look around at all our friends. Go on. Now, you won't know when, and you won't know who, but I'm going to take one of them as my lover, and I'm going to do things with him that would curl your toes. And then I'm going to end it, and you and I can start over with a clean slate. Ladies and gentlemen, Juliet Draper. <laughs> Oh, 
in there. Sorry. As I explained, after this particular number is finished, decision today. Oh, this is him. I'll call you later. Clive. Congratulations, Mia. You're the new publisher of Barnstead Media. I am? Well done. Thank you, Clive. Thank you very much. Don't celebrate too hard. You've got a long, hard stretch coming up. I won't. Mm. You see Jack before I do? I'm in my office. Yes. Go ahead, Jack, take it. What are you going to say when you see him? Oh, here he is. I'll call you back. Congratulations. You mean it? Of course I do. I took the liberty of expensing this to your account. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. So where have you been? Just walking around. The way you nailed Pell yesterday. It wasn't hard to see the writing on the wall. Well, nothing you wouldn't have done, right? I guess. <laughs> I'll take the team out for a last lunch. Okay. So I'll see you later. Jack, what's going on? I can't. I can't do it, Mia. Do what? I'm sorry. I thought I'd win. You'd be disappointed. You'd throw yourself in looking for a place or planning the wedding, but now that it's reversed, I can't see my place in it. I don't understand why you're doing this. The truth is, I'm going to want someone to come home to. I'm going to want kids. We're just moving in opposite directions. No, I want those things, too. Not as much as you want to win. It's not winning without you. Sorry, man. Um, you're not gonna believe who I kissed the other night. Mia got the job and Jack called it off. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. And screw him. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you even took the ring back? No, I put it in my desk. I... Am I allowed to say congratulations? You won. Well, I got the job. Whether I won or not, I'm not so sure. That whole having it all thing, I think it's a crock. Oh, heads up. 
You know how it is, Silva. I mean, the, the board doesn't have to give a reason for turning you down. It's... Well, next time, could we find something that I can fall in love with and actually buy? Of course. Two for my table? I'm sorry, Ms. Gray. I've got nothing down for you. <laughs> but on that table right over... Heads up. There she goes. Here we go. The Cashmere Mafia. That's what they call you, you know. Really? You don't want to know what I know about you. And you don't want to know what I know about you. Careful there. See you around the campus, girls. Oh, God. Can we just change the subject all the way around? Oh my God, who did you kiss? Did you yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no. I, 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 later, I promise. What did you say to Davis last night? He looked like he swallowed an eel. I told him that I would be taking a lover. Ooh, wow. Do you think you could really go through with that? Most of me hopes I can. Part of me hopes I can't. I do love Davis, you know. Champagne, ladies? Ah, <sighs> perfect. Oh, great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. To friends in high places. Cheers. Um, I don't know what I would do without you girls. Okay, let's review your options. He's got to be single. <laughs> Over 5'9 and under 2'10. Hair, you want hair? Oh, hair is good. <laughs> and hot. It's definitely hot. You know what? I'm almost afraid to say this. This is going to be fun. I can't believe <laughs> 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 Thank you.